Okay, we live. Just kind of wait for everybody to come to the chat. I'm probably going to wait about five minutes or so uh, before I actually start making this. Uh, last live stream, uh, I noticed when someone uh, was just watching like the replay, they were like, oh my God, it's been like five, four minutes since you actually like started doing anything. Uh, and that was just because, you know, when I start this live stream, uh, there's usually about, I leave about five minutes or so before um, people start coming in because a lot of people like to like, make stuff along with me, especially since this is such a simple recipe. I think that a lot of people will have the ingredients uh, at home in order to make this recipe along with me. Let's see who the first person was to come in. Uh, okay, I'm going to butcher your name, Kvashti Springer. <laughs> um, so, and also, if you uh, missed the uh, notification from YouTube, I just do these every Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, today, I think it was like one minute late because I had some technical difficulties. It pretty much happens every week. Um, but uh, yeah, 3 p.m. Friday, Eastern Standard Time. If you don't get a notification on YouTube, just set it in your calendar and you won't miss it. <laughs> As long as your phone doesn't mess up. Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Vegan Pajamas is in the house. Caught a live morning from Sydney. What time is it in Sydney? Hey, got a notification. Awesome, awesome. You pronounced it great. Okay, I also go by K. Okay, okay. I'll go by, I'll go by K then. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to wait about five minutes before people show up. Because, um, you know, some people might get a notification late. Or they might just have just remembered that I'm doing a live stream. So... In the meantime, tell me if this is like way too loud. And how many of you guys do that instead of getting a cup? <laughs> Welcome to the Netherlands, 5.03 a.m., wow. Hey, from Winnipeg. Wait, is Winnipeg, that's uh, like the west side of Canada, I think, right? I need a knife to chop up the dill pickle. Other than that, I think I have pretty much everything. Oh, I need a teaspoon and a tablespoon. Tablespoon, teaspoon, cool. I might throw in some dill too, actually. I feel like that would be good. Maybe some garlic. I'm gonna like roughly follow the recipe. I mean, I'm gonna do the, uh, you know, the measurements that it says, but if I feel like adding garlic, I'm just gonna add garlic. Um, and this recipe is super versatile too, so if you do wanna change things up, then feel free. Um, I, for example, am not gonna do capers just because um, I don't have any in the house, and I don't see me using any for any other recipe anytime soon, so I don't really wanna get some ingredient that I'm only gonna use one time, and then be like, well, I got this extra stuff laying around. <laughs> so. That's my spiel on that. All right, let's see what you guys are saying, and then I'll about to start. Finally made to a live stream. Well, welcome, Meerkat. I know you've been following my channel for a while, so it's good to have you on a live stream. From Ottawa. Oh, Ottawa's not too far away. Maple syrup and chickpeas? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it says. So you're rocking the headband today? Yeah, I'm rocking it more and more often because I'm in like that awkward, uh, the awkward hair phase where your hair doesn't always want to do what it wants to do. What you want it to do? Oh, you know what? I just realized I have the, I have the green screen on. So as you can probably tell, the tahini. Maybe I can zoom in on the tahini. Um, the tahini is like, you, well, I can't, I can't. Um, I'm, I'm putting my mouse over it, but you can't see it, but. As you can probably tell, the tahini is like kind of looking all weird. And the pickles are a little bit too. And actually, okay, so you can probably tell the garbanzo beans. Maybe I can actually bring the garbanzo beans over here. It's because I forgot I left the green screen on from last time. So let's see. I'll hold it up like this. And then I'll get rid of the green screen. And you can see it go away. <laughs> yeah. So that, I, I swear I always forgot to turn it back off. Um, <laughs> all right, let's zoom back out of here. All right. Cool. Do a kickflip, yeah. <laughs> Get to cooking. Hello from Montana. What's going on, everybody? All right, so it's been about five minutes. So we're going to oh, throw in some pickled jalapeno. That'd be good. Um, all right, so first ingredient is obviously chickpeas. And I already have the can opener. I was about to look for it. I 
And it would be great if someday I can have uh, an island with a sink so I can do these live streams and even use the sink and face you guys. You know, something to dream about anyway. When that YouTube money really kicks in. <laughs> I know when I first got this apartment, people, some I think it was a couple people, said like, oh, you can tell that YouTube money came in. But I think that a lot of people would be shocked at like how little I pay for this apartment. I don't know. I don't know if like you can, can, do landlords care if you say how much rent costs? I'm just going to let that drain for a little bit while I see what you guys say. Chicky peachy. <laughs> I hate watching these. They always make me hungry. <laughs> Hot Petri dish, Florida. <laughs> Sweet or dill relish. Oh, yeah. So I, so I have um, hamburger dill right here. And I am going to add some... I'll probably just add like a little bit of dill, um, you know, dill seasoning or whatever. Dried dill. I'm cooking with you today, but no maple syrup for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's a whole lot. Um, let me check. I'll check the recipe in a second. Um, first, I'm going to do the first step of the recipe. So, for those of you following along with me, um, you could do this with your hands if you don't have a fork. Um, I usually use a fork, and one thing that I found actually works even better. But I'm not going to use it, uh, is one of these things. These things actually work really, really well. It's just a potato masher. Um, they just work really, really well for stuff like this. But I'm not going to use it because I think that a lot of people probably don't have that, and, and it would go a lot faster. So the people you know doing it along with me would be like, ah, hold on. So I'm just going to go like this. It just takes a couple minutes of just mashing it. And I've made a double recipe before, and it doesn't actually take too, too much longer to do a double you know, two cans. Actually, speaking of two cans, I saw two cans when I was in Ethiopia. It's pretty cool. It was at the hotel in Owasa, Ethiopia. Okay, I'm going to try to hold the bowl so it doesn't get annoying for everyone at home. <laughs> Hearing it, like, hit the ground, granite. Okay, I can only hold it so much. If it annoys you, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's actually not too bad. It's like, it's like mostly, mostly done already. I have started making some of my own chickpeas uh, from dried chickpeas in the Instant Pot. And it does really taste like a lot better, like a lot more fresh, but this is just a lot quicker. So I like to have usually some canned chickpeas. And then when I do have dried chickpeas, I'll throw them in here and just throw them in the freezer. And then when I want them, I will just uh, thaw them out. That's, it, that's what frozen chickpeas look like, if you were wondering. That's how you know you're vegan. Like, what kind of chickpeas do you want? You want canned? You want frozen? You want dry? What would you want? I got it all. So you can still have like a couple like larger pieces. This is this is pretty good actually the way it is. And if you want it to take, taste really good and not be healthy, instead of tahini, you could always do mayonnaise. And I know I'm licking my fingers. Some people tell me not to, but guess what? It's my kitchen. I pay 850 bucks a month in Rhode Island. I'm in the servant quarters of an old house in 1912. Woo! It includes cable, internet, Netflix. Well, I guess if you're like living by yourself, uh, was it vacation or mission trip? A kind of vacation. It was. Uh, <laughs> it was just to visit um, my my best friend growing up. He. I'm just gonna point this camera really awkwardly at my face. Um, so my best friend growing up. Let me just zoom right into my face. So my best friend growing up was from Ethiopia, and uh, he always goes back to visit his family. And every year he always asks me if I want to go, and I, I finally had like the time and the money to do it. So I was like, all right, I'll go, I'll go visit your family with you. So I didn't have quite like the typical person just visiting Ethiopia type of experience because I was like 
you know, meeting his family and he had to spend time with his family and stuff because he was only there for like a month. Um, so yeah, it was fun though, but yeah. Yeah, I can see the whites of your eyes. Okay. All right. So we mashed up the chickpeas. Let's see what the next ingredient is. Three tablespoons of tahini. Okay, so I'm just using a fork because I find that forks are good for like whipping up the tahini and like usually, so I found that like when you use tahini, what you want to do every single time you want to use it, you want to like just scrape the bottom and just like bring it bring it all up together and like mix it all together because otherwise by the time you get to the last bits of the tahini, it's like really dried and kind of crusty uh, because I feel like the, the, the oil kind of rises to the top. So in the beginning of using your... Um, jar, I couldn't think of the word jar, of tahini, uh, you'll get a lot of like the oil and then you'll get some of the sesame seeds. And then like by the time you get to the bottom, there's like almost no oil mixed in. It's just like it's too crusty. So make sure you really thoroughly mix it every time you use it. And that's my tahini TED talk for the day. So there's one, that's about a tablespoon. It's going to get everywhere. Okay. One tablespoon. And you know what? I'm using my fingers. I'm licking my fingers. I don't really care because I'm the only one eating this. Because this is how I'd be making it if you guys weren't watching. I'm not going to change what I am just because I'm live streaming. This is me. Okay. Okay. One more tablespoon. Try to get it off with the, all the chickpea right here off my finger, but then I just get more chickpea on my finger. <laughs> all right, one more tablespoon. I guess I can use the forks to scrape. Yeah. This is a two fork type of recipe. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this recipe is good to, to do in the summer when you like, you can make some food and not have to turn on the oven. It's pretty great. All right, all right, all right. Next ingrediente. One teaspoon of Dijon spicy mustard. Is it a teaspoon? Yeah, a teaspoon. Yeah, all right, let's do that. One teaspoon of the spicy mustard. And we'll do, so this is the most controversial ingredient of the bunch. One tablespoon of maple syrup. If I can get it off. Oh, I hate how that's like papery. So like you'll get off like the top layer. Ah, nice. I got it. You know, also don't get paper based stickers. Like why? I like when stickers can peel off cleanly, you know. Okay, so I believe this is one tablespoon. Yep, one tablespoon syrup. I might even just do a tiny bit less. Yeah. I'm just trusting this recipe. This is forks over knives recipe. I think they might have actually gotten it from um, 
Minimal faker. Salad sandwiches. <laughs> Step one, open can. Step two, break opener. Step three, pry what little you had open so you can fish out the chickpea can. Step four, Craig's almost done with smashing the piece. <laughs> oh, it sounds like you're not having the best day right now, Laura. <laughs> I just finished doing a tattoo. Wow. This is so good. I didn't have everything. Uh, I made it my way. I didn't have capers, so used avocado. I didn't have sunflower seeds, so used my lights. I don't know what you mean by lights. Uh, probably some kind of typo. Everything else I have is really good. Yeah, so this recipe is very... Um, What's controversial about maple syrup? Uh, yeah, this recipe is great because it's like you can just uh, swap things in and out. Oh, man, there's tahini all over this jar. Um, so maple syrup is controversial because people were just saying it sounds gross in this recipe. That's really it. Just got to clean the jar. And this is my personal jar of tahini. So you know what? Like I said, I'm licking it, okay? I'm tired of you utes telling me what to do. What's a ute, Mr. Gambini? Some of you guys will get that. <clears throat> Quarter cup of diced onion. So I don't have red diced onion, but we're going to make do with it anyway. And I don't need these over here. Don't need this over here. Or this. Or any of these. I'll just use my tahini covered cutting board. Yeah, so I've always, I feel like I say this every time I cut a rest, cut an onion in like one of my recipes, but I always found that that is the best way to cut an onion because I've had to cut so many onions when I was um, a fry cook at a restaurant. I would just chop off the ends and then the, the paper seems to come off a lot easier once you then cut it in half and then you can start dicing. Oh man, there's more onion hairs. So I just need a quarter cup of this. Mm. I'll just cut this just a little bit. It'll, I'm sure this will probably won't need this whole half of an onion. And we'll get a bigger knife, even though this is a small onion. And my favorite knife, if you guys have noticed, I use this one all the time. Actually, you know, I don't feel like using the, the measuring cup for that, so that's a quarter cup. Apparently, I didn't need that. I might need it for something else, though. Let's see what the rest of the recipe is. Quarter cup of diced pickle. Okay, okay. Oh, and I need a quarter cup of celery. All right, let's just grab one stalk. And then put her back in the fridge. Gotta wash it real quick. I think that the celery is probably the best, um, the best vegetable to put in one of these because just it's just for me it's just like the crunch factor. It doesn't really add so much flavor as much as like texture to this recipe. 
in particular. And it's all stuck together, so we're just gonna go like this. Because I like a lot of celery in these. Just adds a nice crunch. There we go. This should be should be good. And I might cut this into thirds. Because I do like them to be a little small though. On the smaller side for this recipe. Plus you gotta cut enough to eat. Alright. There we go. And then it's the pickles. There it is. Is that crunchy? Just stab as many as you can. Now I'm just going to chop away. Some of the tahini too. Mm, a little more, a little more pickles. All right, that, that should be good. This is a real technique, but I'm just just rocking it back and forth. All right. Where's my phone? There's my phone. Let's see what you guys are up to too. I've been ignoring you guys. Looks viral. Wow, crack getting really good at those knife skills. <laughs> ASMR celery chopping. Hmm, it dulls it fast. Flip it over and use the back side of the light. Okay, good to know, good to know. All right, so it says to use capers, so if you just started watching, I said earlier that I'm not going to use capers because I don't really use capers for any sort of other recipe. I don't know if you got to use your hands when you're talking. Uh, I don't use it for any sort of recipe, and I don't want just like an ingredient laying around that I'm just saying, well, what am I going to use this for? I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like... It says healthy pinch of sea salt and black pepper. I'm going to throw in some garlic, some dill. <sighs> Smells good. Okay. I'm going to throw in, this is just a teaspoon of the dill. So this is completely optional. I'm going off the recipe now. <laughs> I'm going to do a teaspoon garlic if I can I just don't want to get dill inside of the garlic and I also want to be able to see what I'm doing so this is like hard to position okay and was there one other spice I wanted to do so this is just a tiny bit of salt so oh, we're just gonna bop, 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 bop. It's not coming out, is it? There we go. A little bit of black pepper. All right. And now, 
We mix it all together. Ooh, the dill looks nice. Yeah, and if you did want this to be like, if you just wanted to make this really good tasting for non-vegans, uh, then I would definitely suggest using mayonnaise instead of tahini. But if you're trying to be healthy, tahini is definitely the best way to go. And it really does not taste that bad. I would actually say it tastes pretty good. <laughs> but like I said, mayonnaise always going to taste better than tahini. All right. So let's thaw out my bread. <laughs> Refrigerate the maple syrup. I think this is the only other thing that needs to be refrigerated. Uh, if you guys have never tried it, this is from Trader Joe's. This is the organic soft wheat bread. Pretty, 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 pretty good. And let's see, I went to Aldi earlier today and I got some other bread. This nice to wheat you bread is pretty great. Uh, and then they also have Seedtastic, which I didn't pick up. Um, and then they have oat oh, so healthy that one has honey in it. So if you're okay with honey, you know, if not, then don't, I'm not. So I didn't get it. Of course you would post this video right after make a grocery delivery order and it's too late to change it now. <laughs> getting a weird background noise. Is anyone else getting a weird background noise? I'm using vegan mayo and added dill also. Cool. So mayo on the bread would be really good too. Um, hummus would be good too in, in place of the mayo. Um, I'm probably just going to do some yellow mustard. Ooh, lettuce would be good. You know what? I might actually just take the bread out now so I have bread, not toast. You know what? I should always eat on a green plate. You guys hear that? Celery? <laughs> Will there be any candy videos soon? That just depends on my mom getting the new POS system set up, but she said she'll probably have it set up pretty soon. She's, I think, testing it today, and we'll probably, I said, we said this about last Tuesday, but we'll probably get a video out this Tuesday. We've already shot it like a month ago, so it's already, it's just been waiting until my mom was ready to and more orders, so. As ASAP as possible. So we got iron grape and spring mix. Mustard. Do you guys mind me chewing celery? Is it like too awful? <laughs> I'm trying not to like, you know, chew with my mouth open. I mean, I don't anyway, but it just annoys me when, when people do that. Frank's Red Hot? Yeah, so um, we're almost out of Frank's, although we have another one in reserve. So don't worry. I would never not have one ready. Oh, so we got a super chat. From Beth, $5, thanks for the great recipe and entertaining cooking streams. I'm now trying to eat vegan slash vegetarian five days a week. Well, not too bad. Good for you, Beth. That's awesome. 
It adds to the ambience. No, heck no, chew away. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Beth. Thanks for supporting me. I, I do appreciate that. There's a the mustard. Keep losing stuff. You know what? Maybe I should grab my green screen now. What should uh, what should the background be? I have to open it over here so I don't knock anything over. Let's hope I still don't. All right, great success. Should I have it go like this? And some stand in here. I could actually, if I if I ever wanted to, and get like fancy and like ahead of time, I could actually play a video behind me if I ever wanted to do that. A wintry scene since it's so hot. I kind of like that. And someone says a lake at a cottage. So what if I combined those things? Background could be chickpeas. <laughs> Palm trees. It's my first time catching a live. Love the candy making videos. Thanks. Yes, winter would be cool. Ha, huh? get it? Cool. Winter, yeah. Okay, so it sounds like winter is the, the winner here. Okay, so winter cottage at a lake. We'll try to find that. Hmm. Uh, that picture's a little dark. Should it be in the middle of a road? <laughs> Oh, this looks like a big image. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. Witcher three background. I so I've heard a lot of a lot of people saying I should try Witcher three. I haven't uh, haven't gotten around to that though. Okay, so let's turn the filter on. And uh, no, yes, there we go. <laughs> That's just really huge. It's just <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is way too big. <laughs> Oh wow, this is a really big image, that's why. Oh man. I mean I should just turn this sideways. Alright, there we go. Okay, I think that's good. And then once we zoom in, it'll uh, it'll make more sense. All right, so let's get rid of the second camera. <sighs> it snow so much. A strange place for a picnic. Yeah, in the middle of the road. <laughs> and your see-through plate. Uh, yeah, I wonder if these how much these greens will be see-through too. All right, this is the last bit of celery. I don't want to eat that. Okay. Oh, it opens from the other side. Yeah, I think it opens from this side. It's so weird. I feel like this, this box of spring mix is like kind of backwards. Let's see. Can you guys see through these? The greens? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> They're see through. I 
Yeah, I'd love to have a nice big kitchen someday where I can have like a big green screen so I can just like be completely engulfed instead of by five and five by seven. <laughs> well, this isn't bad. Let's put some on the bread. Put some mustard on her. Mustard her? I don't even know her. Just on the side. You know how I usually do. And we'll just throw her on there. When in doubt, add more. Oh, if you if you do have some chips to throw in here too, corn chips, potato chips, whatever, nice crunch on top of the celery. That's just brings it to the next level. Unfortunately, I am out of corn chips currently. Hmm, that's good. I like. Okay, let's grab a chair. Not that chair. Why? <laughs> oh, this is a tight space. Oh, I hope I don't scratch up the wall. Oh, I want to get my security deposit back for this apartment. Oh. That's good. All right. Oh no, how embarrassing. Now you guys can see that the green screen isn't real. All right, I think that's good. I just need to make this bigger again. And then I can just eat in the middle of this wintry road. <laughs> so much stuff is just like see-through, like the greens. <laughs> I don't think like I'm eating like an invisible sandwich. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. And let's uh, pull you guys up on my phone so I can... Actually, see what you guys are saying while I'm eating, because I've been ignoring you guys this whole time. <sighs> Need some chili flakes? Oh, chili flakes would be good. Vegan camo. <laughs> we need to get Craig a bigger green screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's tough because, like, I mean, you can get bigger green screens, but then they're just, like, such a pain to set up um, as far as, like, uh, like, you can you can get, like, cloth that is, like, really big, um, but then you have to, like, use clamps to, like, set it up on, like, these poles and stuff. So it uh, you sacrifice portability and quickness of setup um, if, you, if you do decide to get, like, a bigger one, whereas this 5x7 one is, like, really easy to set up, although it's small, it's super easy to set up. Taste test time. <laughs> All right, yeah, so let's get this bowl out of the way. Yeah, maybe someday when I have a, if I have a bigger place, I can do something like that. It's not like he was wrestling with a chair. <laughs> right, I want this to be the top, so there we go. All right. Without getting it everywhere, I want to get real close and show you guys what it looks like. Let's brighten this up a little bit. Let's see through. Oh no, you can only see so much. Yeah. All right. Now we're back to normal. Do you take any supplements as well? Any suggestions? Uh, just vitamin uh, B12 and vitamin D. 
Is it just me or is every whole wheat bread contain honey? Yeah, honey or occasionally it'll contain what says fish gelatin, which is basically just like fish bones and ligaments, which is just weird. Um, but yeah, I feel like honey is like the main culprit you usually got to look out for. extra noisy this live stream oh you mean with like me grunting and groaning like when i'm picking up the chair and stuff <laughs> make your own whole wheat bread so actually i actually have videos of me wake making my own whole wheat bread um i do if i'm gonna be completely honest I actually like store-bought bread better as far as for sandwiches. I mean, I, I think that the the bread uh, that I made was like, really good for like, avocado toast. Um, I think it was just really good, but I do like this better for, for sandwiches. Hit the like button, fam. Thanks, Jorge. <laughs> and this, I got to make sure this doesn't like come out of the sandwich. Sorry if I eat grossly, but, you know, you are watching the live stream of a guy eating, so, I mean, I know. I guess you get what you're, what you ask for. Chocolate cake for next week. <laughs> I, yep, I've been thinking about that, actually. Yeah, definitely going to do chocolate cake next week, because that's what you guys asked for. But I'm glad someone remembered. Someone's paying attention. Uh, Wajita was the last, was the person, I haven't seen Wajita in this chat, but he was the, the person I think who suggested it. So we'll definitely have to do it for next time. Maybe I can ask him if he has a favorite recipe. Need another tuna recipe. <laughs> Thinking cool snowy thoughts, are we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I asked the people what they wanted to see for the background, and they said cool winter vibes. So I was like, all right, you guys are getting what you're asking for. <laughs> what kind of cake? Chocolate cake. Oh. I think that's probably, I think I might have an Amazon package. That's probably what it is. But we got a super chat from Mike Bowes, Canadian 699 super chat. And it says, how's it going? So thank you. I appreciate that, Mike. I really do. So thank you. But I got to go see what's going on at my front door. Yeah, it's just UPS. So when the stream is over, well, I don't know if you guys can hear me. So I'll just wait till I get back. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's a UPS truck out front, so I'm just assuming it was a package. So it's, it's not like my landlord or a neighbor or something. So I'll get to it when the stream is over. Thanks again for the super chat, Mike. I do appreciate that. The animation of the avocado. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was an avocado or a pear or what. I guess Mike sent it. He can decide what it is. <laughs> Unboxing video? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mama4 sent a $20 super chat. You're such a nice young man. Well, thank you, Mama4. <laughs> thanks for the super chat, too, and thanks for the compliment. <laughs> Yeah, it's very generous of you. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to think what I got in my Amazon package. You guys want to see an unboxing video? <laughs> it's nothing vegan related. 
Actually, I do think that the things that I that I'm getting today, I think they are going to be in a future video. You see, we got 354 people watching, so we got 354 people, 354 people who can, who uh, if they, if you guys did want to see, it'd be like a sneak peek for a future video. I don't know if I'd want to say what it's going to be just yet, though. So it's like something not vegan related, um, and I've been having some ideas for non-vegan related videos. That I think you guys would still like. I think a lot of people would just be interested. I'm the same age as Craig's mom, and yes, he has a nice young man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sensible crime. Got purple. Purple kitchen utensils from Amazon. Extra mustard? Crazy. I know. I'm a crazy guy. I like to live life on the edge. Oh, Nora Cooks has a good chocolate. Yeah, so Kara and I have been, mostly Kara, she's been obsessed with Nora Cooks. I really trust Nora Cooks when it comes to stuff like that, so I will probably be a Nora Cooks video. And um, you know what? After I'm done with this sandwich, then we're going to do an unboxing. So if you guys want to stick around, you guys can see the sneak peek of the next video. Uh, Heather Fellows sent a four ninety nine super chat. Do you like this recipe as well as ones with vegan mayo? Uh, I, so I didn't get a link. I think it's probably because... You're not a moderator, so I don't think you can send a link. Um, but as far as uh, vegan mayo, and thank you, by the way, for the super chat. I, I appreciate that. And I, I wish your link went through because that sucks when you, like, you try to send a link and it doesn't go through, especially if you paid four ninety nine. So I do appreciate your super chat, though, Heather. Uh, Elizabeth wants to know, how did it come out? The people want to know. LOL. Uh, it came out really well. It's really good. Uh, oh, and uh, Linzer Tubes sent a 279 super chat. You guys are just being really generous today. Thank you. Thank you, everybody who's been sending me super chats. Um, but yeah, this is this has turned out really well. I've been adding more and more mustard as I go. And if you stick around, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of an Amazon box pretty soon. It has nothing to do with vegans. <laughs> Oh, pick out pigless pork rinds from Amazon. Looking forward to giving them a try. Cool. Oh, I've been wheeling and dealing on Facebook Marketplace recently. I sold a TV. I sold an Amazon Echo Dot. I sold four wooden bowls. Um, I'm selling a Wi-Fi extender later today. Just like stuff I have around the house because usually a lot of it's just like I don't know what I would be doing with it otherwise. So I, I like maybe donate it or like give it to a like. I don't know. Sometimes I just throw stuff out that I'm just like, I have no idea who would take this. And I don't know if thrifty store, like a thrift store would take it. Um, but now I've been selling stuff on Facebook marketplace. And like, I tried to put like, I, I put the TV on Craigslist and I didn't get any bites. And literally I put the TV on Facebook marketplace and within about 15 minutes, I had like four people asking for it. So I was like, okay, I probably priced that a little bit too low. If I had four people asking for it within 15 minutes. Um, so I found the sweet spot for me and I've only been doing this for like a week. I found the sweet spot is like, if I get like one request, in the first like 12 to 24 hours, then it's usually like a pretty fair price because um, you know I think a lot of people saw it, but only some people were interested in it. Um, Paul says, "What's up, my glib globs?" I see someone's been watching Rick and Morty. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Hench Herbivore. I, I watched some of your videos. Um, the ones that the uh, the guy from I'll just say the guy from Germany. The ones that uh, you made about him um, were. They had a special place in my heart because he made a video about me that was kind of outlandish and <laughs> just, I thought it was funny, but because he's like a little delusional, which you probably know who I'm talking about, so you can probably agree, but that, that has a, those videos have a special place in my heart. So thank you, Paul, for doing your work. <laughs> I do not insist on chocolate cake anymore. Why not? Oh. You told me before. The last time I was the one insisting on chocolate cake, you said it was not healthy and you wanted to try to eat healthy. Well, you made me think I really tried to eat less sweets this week. Oh. Paul says you're welcome, brother. Oh, thanks, man. Um, I was going to say something else. I don't know. I'm just trying to read all the comments and respond to all you guys. <laughs> Hench is the henchiest. I would say so. He seems to take his henching very seriously, that Paul. 
would not want to have a hench off with him. So many comments about how I go like this. Sometimes I eat like I'm a baby bird. But it's like if you got food coming out of your mouth, you just gotta go like that, Mac, to make sure it doesn't fall out. You know, gotta do what you gotta do. Wow, no mustard deficiency for you. <laughs> so on the last video, when I we asked at the end of the video what everyone's favorite condiment was, a lot of people were saying mustard. More so than I thought. Like I thought people were gonna say ketchup. Like, ketchup is my favorite. I thought ketchup was gonna be a little bit more popular. Um, there's people saying, um, someone said salad dressing was their favorite. Um, some people said uh, pickle relish, which I, if you guys saw the video, the part where my dad tasted the tuna dip and he said it was pickle relish, I was like, what? Do you know what pickle, pickle relish looks and tastes like? like? I have no idea where you're coming up with these ideas from. But Tony, Tony Mason, a $3 super chat of a pear or avocado going like this. So thank you, Tony. Thank you. Appreciate that. Very generous of you. I'm almost done with this, and then you guys can see my unboxing. Mm. Your favorite condiment is hot sauce. All right, let's do a poll right now. Just type in what your favorite um, your favorite condiment is, and I'll just read them off. Hmm. <laughs> Legit made this lunch before stream so good. Mustard. American and hot English mustard. What? Let's see what some I was gonna. Oh, I don't have bread, but I have tortilla wraps. LOL. I might still taste. It might still taste good. Yeah. So I've actually made this with tortilla wraps before. I can tell you that it tastes really good. Um, you can do it with like as a lettuce wrap. You can do it with collards. I really like using collard greens as like a burrito type thing. Um, and romaine lettuce makes like a really good um like sort of like taco shell if you're trying to eat healthy. Um, Nooch, spicy mustard, barbecue sauce, hot sauce, hot sauce, mustard, ketchup, hot sauce, the ranch, mayo, ketchup, sriracha, uh, ranch dressing. Oh, ranch is good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yellow mustard, hot sauce, Hellman's mayo. Okay. The vegan Hellman's mayo is probably the best mayo. Um, hot sauce, spicy ketchup, barbecue sauce, hot sauce, sriracha, hot sauce, all of them, A1, hot sauce, Kool-Aid. <laughs> um, plum sauce, kimchi, hmm, ranch dressing. Uh, so a lot of you guys said hot sauce. Do you guys have a favorite hot sauce? Just tell, tell me what your favorite hot sauce is. Bread. <laughs> Bread is my favorite condiment. Pizza is my dad's favorite condiment. Valentina. Oh, selling stuff for, on Marketplace for a long time now. Cool. What kind of stuff do you sell? Regular Kool-Aid. So a lot of people are saying Tabasco, Louisiana hot sauce. None of you guys are saying the right answer. I think you guys know what the right answer is. Valentina is really acidic. Yeah, I think that Frank's Red Hot is really acidic too. It's it's basically just like vinegar with a little bit of spice and salt. Can you tell how much I like it? It's gone. I use this all in one sandwich. My dad likes Frank's. Well, your dad has a correct opinion, Joey. Frank's Red Hot, <laughs> says Albert Einstein. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go see what Amazon's got. So I do have a lav mic on. I don't know how much you guys will be able to hear. So I'm probably just going to stop talking in a little bit because I don't think the range goes that far.
All right. And now, as code is one, so I'll ask you if you guys could hear that, because I just want to, I just want to know what you guys can hear, where you where you guys can't hear, and like what the range is like. I got some stuff that is kind of useful. Other stuff I didn't even ask for. I just got junk mail. All right, so what codes did you guys hear that I was spouting off? Craig is alien. I can hear chickens. <laughs> Just hear underwater sounds as you left. Okay, it might be ceiling fan. Um, I doubt it. I, I can't even hear the ceiling fan. No codes. Okay, so yeah. So you guys, I was testing the testing the range of the audio because I just said, "All right, guys, the code is one, two, three, four. If you guys can hear this, then tell me what the code is when we get back." And then, as I got a little bit closer, I changed it to four, three, two, one to see if you guys could hear that. And I don't think you guys could hear any of that. So uh, now I know. Cool. All right. So let's get this mustard back in the fridge, where it belongs. All right, so I think because, yeah, this just says no egg Craig YouTuber. This is just like a business, just like one of those business junk mail things from a company called Uline. I think they're like a, a business sort of thing. All right, let's see what this is first. And then I'll show you guys if it's appropriate. So I have no idea what's even in here. I, I'm, I know I ordered it. Oh, okay. This is... <laughs> Can you, do you guys recognize what this thing is? I'll give you a hint. It's for camping. Uh, and this is also going to be in one of my videos. Poster putty. This is just like hanging stuff up on the wall with. Oh, this is even lighter than I thought it would be, though. Oh, come on. Why can't I scroll through the comments? There we go. Trowel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's basically what it is. Poop shovel, yeah. Hey, yep, that's for um, uh, for when you're camping. Couldn't see it. It must be green. Oh, really? Hold on. Let's see. This is uh, blue. Oh, so it's just got like tints of green in it, I suppose. So, yeah. What is blue? All right. Let's get out a knife. And open this here box. Ah, all right. Got to be careful not to show my address on here. Oh, this is going to be very exciting stuff. Oh, yeah. So this, actually, I'm going to return to Best Buy. I'll probably do it after this live stream. Because uh, I ordered a power strip, and then as I was cleaning, I found a power strip in our house. So I'll get 10 bucks back from returning that. And this is my Amazon package. Which this is going to be exciting for me, but probably not as much for you guys. And all this uh, packing material... Like this stuff, I can give to my mom. She can actually use that. So, yeah, I got a Sawyer Squeeze water filtration system. And as you guys can guess, I'm going camping soon. And I got this so that I don't have to take a shower when I'm camping. I think it's got like 10 full body wipes or something like that. Yeah, 20 count. Wow, that's more than I need. Uh, maybe I'll... You know, I'll see if I can just bring some of them so I don't have to carry it all on my back. But yeah, that's actually it. So it's just some camping stuff. 
Um, but yeah, so the this stuff will just go to my mom so she can use it to ship you guys candy if you guys order some vegan candy. And that's it. Oh, and here's the uh, see-through knife. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about this. Uh, this is funny. Yeah, so, like, full body wipes. Uh, I don't know if you guys can read that. Yeah, you guys can probably read that. Hold on, there's, like, a little bit of a delay, so I can actually see how my... Yeah, full body wipes. Yeah, so it's green. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can probably see most of it, like, if I hold it up this way. It was like, it's mostly black on the other side. But, yeah, it's just, uh, instead of showering, you guys can... You can, uh, use this. And wipe off some of your sweat so you're not completely disgusting when you get in your sleeping bag. Wajita, you're late. Um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, so we were talking about earlier uh, how uh, you were suggesting um, chocolate cake for the next stream. So, do you have any chocolate cake recipes in mind? Because... I think it was Albert Einstein said that he, um, and by, when I say Albert Einstein, I mean like one of my viewers is named, he named himself Albert Einstein, not, not a quote from him. <laughs> he was like, come on, when are we going to do the chocolate cake recipe? Are we going to do it next week? So, um, yeah, so we'll just got to see if Wajita's got a recipe in mind. Um, oh yeah, someone said Nora cooks, so that, that would be a good one if Paul didn't have any ideas. And, uh, where am I going camping? The Adirondacks? Am I going alone? Yes. No, I don't, but I'll look for one. Okay. Well, I was thinking of doing a Nora Cooks one, so I don't know if you want to look up Nora Cooks chocolate cake or something like that. But since you were the one of the idea, I wanted to see if you had any ideas first. Uh, Melissa wanted to go camping, I think she was saying, um, but she can't because her family usually goes to Vermont, Maine, or New Hampshire, and not allowed in any of those states. Thanks to Schmor and Schmeen. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going by myself. Nope, it's the real Albert Einstein. <laughs> Here, I recommend Nora Cooks. Wow, I didn't know Albert Einstein was a fan of Nora Cooks. That's so cool. Are you going to be looking for Bigfoot? Is there any other reason to go camping? Chocolate s'mores cake, camping inspiration. Oh, okay, okay. Solo camping Bear grill style. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be having a little bit more than just the clothes on my back, though. So... I'll even be bringing food alone. Be careful. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up some bear spray. I'm gonna have a bear canister. There's, I mean, I'm the bears in the Adirondacks. Most of the time, if like you run into a bear, as long as you're not between it and its cub, it's just, it's mostly just gonna go like this. It's just gonna like it's so it's looking on the ground and it sees you. It's gonna go like this. Ah, a person and like runs away pretty much. That's that's usually what happens. Um, but just in case, I'm gonna have some bear spray and. Probably won't even need it. Probably won't even see a bear. And uh, the place I'm going camping is like, it's a pretty well traveled. Like, I'm definitely going to see some other people, so I'm going to bring my face mask as well. Um, will they be bringing Frank's Red Hot with you? <laughs> no. Uh, maybe if they had like a little, well, I think they do probably have little travel sizes, uh, but I'm trying to cut down the weight as much as possible. So I, I do want, so I've never really gone on a camping trip by myself, and I've never had to go I've never gone for a couple days so I'd have to bring food and I'm gonna try something called cold soaking um, because I had to buy like hiking boots and a tent and I had to, like buy a bunch of stuff and I was like if I could just not buy a little cooking thing like a little a little pan and like a little gas thing like I'd, I'd rather just not if I could and I'd also rather just not have to carry that on my back I'd rather see if I can just do without it so uh, that's why I'm going to try cold soaking and see if I hate it. I mean, I'm only going to be up there for like maybe maybe three days, probably two days. Um, what if someone sees you pooping? <laughs> what are you doing while you're camping? Um, I'm actually going to be making a video of it. So let's see how many people are watching right now. Oh, boy, almost 400 people. All right, you guys want the inside scoop? You guys want to behind the scenes or you guys want to – you guys want uh, – to be a surprise with the video. Because I am doing a video. It's not going to be like the whole video is not just um, camping and stuff. What's well, cold soaking? So cold soaking is basically just like um, 
say you were to do um, oatmeal instead of cooking it you would just like make sort of like overnight oats and the same thing with like um, I'm gonna be doing probably what's called a ramen bomb um, which is basically you just um, add your ramen to um, a little container add a bunch of water and then I'll add some uh, Bob's Red Mills uh, dehydrated potato flakes and you just soak it up for a couple hours and then it's food and it's ready to eat uh, but you don't need to cook anything so it's just a little bit less to carry and less to pay for as far as um, like you know buying a kit to cook stuff with um, so it's basically just like cost and weight effective um, but I'll see if I hate it or not because if I hate it then I'll probably just get like a, a little mini cooking stove Craig my guy <laughs> Parth Patel what's up my guy someone says we'll keep it a secret spill the beans yes <laughs> Food for camp trip. Yeah, so I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm eating in the video, but it's uh, don't run into mom, any mama black bears. Well, if I, I'll do my best to not do that. Um, yeah, maybe maybe I'll keep it a surprise. It seems it's kind of like it was like 50-50. So, um, but yeah, I've been I've been working on this video for a couple weeks. I started it a couple weeks ago, and then I haven't been able to shoot it until my stuff comes in. Um, it'll all make sense when I'm able to post the video. In like two weeks, I think, maybe. We'll see. Maybe three weeks. And this video, is, it's like, I've been shooting this video for a while. And like, because usually I shoot a video and I just shoot it one day and then it's done. But I've been having to wait for other things to happen for me to finish this video. And I'm being very vague. <laughs> Inside scoop. Make sure to avoid bears. That's good advice, Paul. I was going to seek them out otherwise. Oh, that was a bat hanging. <laughs> there was a bat hanging from my window the other day. Wow. I feel like bats have a bad rap right now. <laughs> I'm excited regardless. <laughs> <sighs> Coca-Cola cake. <laughs> oh, I just realized this is see. Well, I knew it was see through, but I keep forgetting that. Like it's on the it's on the table. Um, rude. No one likes to hear other people chew. Rude. Crack. <laughs> I think some people are like pretty far behind in the in the live stream. Maybe get army and MREs. Uh, yeah, I've never looked into those, but I I would assume that they're more expensive. I don't know. But I just got like some. I think I'm just going to bring some Cliff Bars, I'm going to bring some dehydrated potato flakes, some ramen, and then I'll have the um, filtered water so I can just uh, make uh, a ramen bomb. So how was your chickpea salad? It was really good. All right, I can show you the leftovers. You should be able to mostly see it. There's not too much green in here. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what is left over. Enough for like a sandwich and a half, unless you... Unless you want a lot in your sandwich. Or you could fill up. We got some really big wraps. We could do that, too. Yeah, you're right. Expensive, yeah. Expensive. Yeah, I'm trying to be kind of cost-effective. So I was thinking, like, I'm going to bring some instant oatmeal, and then I'll just add water, like overnight oats, and then my breakfast is ready in the morning. Uh, and then I'll have, like I said, Cliff Bars for snacks. Um, if I want to bring some dried fruit, I might do that. Um, and then, like I said, I'll just have, like, some... Uh, ramen and um, potato flakes and maybe I'll maybe I yeah I don't know what else I'll bring I'm trying to pack pack pretty light but I also want to make sure I pack like uh, nine to ten thousand calories in case I'm there for like three days looks very breakfasty yeah <laughs> I'd eat Vietnamese spring rolls every day now trail mix yeah that'd be good on a trail um, but yeah, before, no matter what I do, before I go, I'm going to uh, count up all the calories and make sure that it's like uh, nine to 10,000 calories or so. Um, and then I'll pack some food the day that I'm leaving, just like probably sandwiches, stuff that I'm not going to be packing. So it'll be like the last bit of food that I would have that won't be going in my bear canister because I'm, I'm going to bring bear canister. Oh, sensible crime. I bought the stuff to make spring rolls after you mentioned it, but I didn't love the texture. Hmm. 
camping with like in a tent. Yeah, so I'm I have a tent. I have a hammock, um, but I'm gonna bring a tent because I feel like that's a little bit safer in bear country. Are you filming the camping? Yeah, so I am. It's that's just gonna be like part of the video that I'm doing. Um, maybe I, I can tell you guys what I'm doing because there's only there's only how many people watching right now. Yeah, it's like a little over, almost 400 people. Yeah, so I'll just give you guys the inside scoop. So what I'm doing is basically I'm doing a small bedroom makeover type thing uh, where, like, because I went on YouTube every time I tried to type in, like, small bedroom, like, you know, how to reorganize a room to have more space. It was always, like, a massive bedroom, like, 300 square feet. And like, oh, I only got, like, 200 square feet. Oh, I got to be careful. I was like, you don't have to be careful. You put stuff, you're always going to have room. Uh, so I was getting frustrated. So I measure my room. It's not super small. It's like a hundred square feet. Um, and I am just doing sort of like a, you know, I, I got like a new desk and stuff and, um, and I am basically just going camping so that I can get the last bit of wall art that I can put on my wall to really put my room together. Um, cause there's this one photo that I really want to get. So that's basically why I'm going camping. Um, and I already got some plants, so I'm, uh, I was thinking like some plants and wall art and stuff would be cool. So I want to hang up my own photographs on the wall, though, because I, I got some photos from Shutterfly printed out. I think it was like 20 by 30 or something like that, so like pretty big. Um, utilize wall space for storage. Yeah, so that's one thing I actually can't do because um, I'm not allowed to hang up anything over two pounds on my wall because there's no studs behind my wall. It's just lattice. So you can't hang up anything or it's just going to fall out of the wall and like rip the wall apart. So unfortunately I can't use any wall space. And like, that's actually why like I got the, uh, the sticky, sticky tack, whatever to hang up, um, the, the photographs that I'm going to get printed out, uh, because I can't frame them. Although I would, I think that photographs look so much better if they're framed, but since I can't hang up anything heavy on my wall, I have to just kind of sticky tack it up. So, you know, someday when I get a house with studs in the walls, then I can do that. Go camping in Hawaii, you bring a surfboard. <laughs> I just bought my first container of pea protein, time to make them vegan gains. What are you doing for workouts, Paul? Do you have like uh, dumbbells or anything at home? Are you just doing like body weight stuff? Bounce sheets in your pocket and tents keep mosquitoes away. Yeah, so I'm actually, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of uh, permethrin. But I'm going to be spraying permethrin on my clothes before I go camping. And that is supposed to really keep bugs away. And then I'm also going to have a Picaridin um, bug lotion that I put on. Uh, and then I'm just going to sunscreen too. So I'm going to be putting all sorts of stuff on my body to keep away the sunburn and the bugs. Ikea loft beds are great. Yeah, they probably are, but I like my bed. Uh, I love calisthenics, but I've been slacking. Okay. Do you have like your own pull-up bar? Do you like go to a park or something? I have bookshelves from CB2. They are technically anchored to the wall, but it doesn't use those screws to really hold up the shelves since the legs has snuff floor. Okay. Has it been hot or hot or sunny in Syracuse? It's been both. Let's see what the weather is right now. Ooh, it says right now it is 91, feels like 93. Yesterday it was, it went as high as 97. Uh, let's see, it's gonna get a little bit cooler. Let's type in where, like where I'm gonna be going the next couple, or not next couple days. It's, uh, it's like a week, eight days from now. Um, oh, not there. Um, it's going to be like uh, eight days from now that I actually go um, camping. So actually, I don't think that there will be a forecast just yet. <laughs> uh, but it's pretty much just as hot where I'm going. <laughs> yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Command strips for photos won't damage walls. Yeah, so I've been doing um, just like some sticky tack, and that, that's been working out well so far. Um, before, I was using masking tape, but it kept coming off the walls because it wasn't strong enough. 
Is vegan beef jerky a thing? Yes, it is. You can get some um, probably made from soy, um, probably seitan. I've had some from mushrooms too, actually. Um, you can, there's probably a way you can get some from like jackfruit. Um, I think there's a bunch of different ways to get a vegan jerky, but I, I think uh, mushroom has been like one of the, my favorite ones. Yeah, Zach said mushroom too. What is the best vegan egg recipe? So I guess it depends on what sort of egg you're using. Um, for scrambles though, I honestly just like doing a tofu scramble with black salt. I think that that works really well. If you use a nutritional yeast and um, turmeric, that'll give you the nice yellow yellow color. Um, just eggs, not bad. Um, in my opinion, it's like a little bit gritty and like, it's not bad. Like if someone wanted to offer it to me, I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'll eat it. Um, but it's not, it's not my particular favorite one. Um, there's also, um, chickpea scrambles, which I just like tofu scrambles the best, <laughs> but chickpea scrambles are good too. Final wheat gluten jerky is food a thing. <laughs> What are your thoughts on Impossible Burger? I'm glad that there are a bunch of different types of uh, plant-based meats out there. I know there's like, I don't really know a whole lot, but I, I think there's like some controversy with like how they tested their food or something. I mean, like I, I guess given the option, I would, because of that, take uh, Beyond Meat instead. Or Gardein is actually my favorite, Gardein Alpha Burgers. Instead of vegan egg, what if we call it no egg? That's just good marketing. Did you eat already? Yes, I did. Um, I had the I had a sandwich with the chickpea salad. Have you tried the folded just egg? Oh, so is that like the frozen one? I think my sister might have some in the freezer, or maybe she had some. Um, yeah, I think she's had it, so I haven't had it though. But since it's kind of expensive, I think it's, it's like her thing, not not mine. Because like there's some things that we share. And then there's other things that we don't if they're like kind of more expensive or specialty, you know, you know, you know. Have I ever tried green chilies in any of your recipes? Yeah, I've used it in like tacos, taco type things. Gardein black bean burger are hands down the best black bean burgers out there. Uh, so I've had the Gardein ultimate burgers. I don't know if I've had the Gardein uh, black burgers. Or black bean burgers. Uh, I usually just make my own if I'm gonna have black bean burgers. Although I, I think I've probably gotten the Aldi ones. I like the soy um, soy burgers from from Aldi. Those are good. Those are kind of like meaty, um, and they don't really cost that much. Because usually, like the ones that are kind of meaty, like Beyond or Impossible or Gardein, they cost quite a bit more. But the the little patties from um, Aldi, I'd say they're not quite they're not quite as good, but they're a lot cheaper. <laughs> so. It's good to have all the options you want. Craig is a soy boy and proud. When's the next Hercules video coming out? So I think we got like, well, a little less than 400 people. Yeah, a little less than 400 people watching here. So a lot of people might watch the Hercules channel. And I've mentioned a bunch of times in the stream. So if you've been watching this whole time, maybe you've gotten sick of me answering this. But uh, it should be next Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, uh, just because my mom has been trying to set up the new point of sale system. Uh, and she says so far so good. So uh, as long as that's all set up, because it should be a lot more automated. So then my mom will be have to be like a lot less hands on. So then hopefully my mom can help them actually make physical products uh, instead of just working on the website like all the live long day. Because that should free up like depending on how many orders, like maybe six to eight hours a day or so. So that would be really helpful for her and it would also be helpful for you guys because then we'll be more likely to post videos more often because we'll be able to just like handle more of the business. So we're hoping this Tuesday, is everyone okay? Yeah, everyone's okay. They just, it's so if you guys don't ever hear, if you guys don't hear anything from Hercules Candy, what we're trying to do is just lay low and let you guys forget about us so that like usually we've found that we can make a video about anything on the Hercules Candy channel and it generates orders. I think it's just because a lot of people are like, oh my God, I forgot you guys exist. Right. I've been meaning to order from you guys. And like, no matter what the video is about, people will order stuff. So I told my mom, I was like, mom, if you really want the orders to stop, don't post on Facebook, don't post on Instagram, don't post anything on YouTube, nothing. And then we'll just go dark for like a month. And then once you get every, like all your ducks in a row, then we can post a video again. Um, and you know, as she wanted to post it earlier and I was like, mom, if you don't have your ducks in a row, we probably shouldn't be posting a video. And she's like, yeah, you're right. Okay. So it's kind of like 
for, at first she asked if she could, if she was like, can we, Craig, can we please not post a video? And then she was like, all right, I think we can post a video. I was like, mom, are you sure you're ready? And then she was like, no, I guess we're not. <laughs> but I just don't want my mom to be massacred every time that there's an order, uh, a big, uh, you know, every time we post a video. You deserve Hercules royalty. So uh, the way that it works right now um, is I just get money from YouTube ad revenue, revenue from Hercules, the Hercules Candy videos, and they get a huge increase in orders every time I post a video. So everybody wins. Google pays me to advertise my parents' store, and they don't have to pay for advertising. So it's a win-win-win. You guys make spicy candy. That's something that we have been thinking about, um, like spicy hard candy. Although I know people have asked about, like, uh, I think putting like chili flakes in chocolate. I, I've heard uh, good things about that. Um, but as of right now, they're other than like new hard candy flavors. Um, they're not really trying anything new, uh, just because they can hardly keep up with everything the way that it is. But if you just add like a different flavor, that's not really changing too much. Um, but if you were to add chili flakes to chocolate, like that would be, you would have to do like some more experimenting, you know? So it's, they just don't want to do any too much experimenting right now. Um, when the orders just went nuts. If we didn't have a viral video recently, we, I probably would have been posting like at least one video a week recently, but the video went viral. So, you know, good news for us. Not so good news for you guys. Cinnamon candy. Yes, we have made cinnamon candy before. Uh, cinnamon hard candy. What does your family sell candy? So uh, if you just go to HerculesCandy.com, you'll see everything that we sell. Barbecue chips infused chocolate bar. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? I've been streaming for like an hour and a half. I should probably get to cleaning up, actually, uh, especially since Kara, when Kara gets out of work, we're meeting at my Uncle Joe's and uh, who's actually on the Hercules Candy channel, and we're going to go work out because he actually has a squat rack and stuff, and I have not been able to squat for since, like, March. I've just been doing, like, single leg, no body, like, just body weight squats or put, like, dumbbells in a backpack and, like, done some, like, pulsing squats and stuff. And so it would just be nice to actually put some actual weight on the bar and squat. So um, I should get ready for that. Uh, and... Chocolate cake next week, um, probably from Nora Cooks. I'll probably post that in like a day or two. Um, and yeah, thanks for everyone who tuned in. Thanks for everyone who moderated. Thanks for everyone who sent a super chat. Uh, I appreciate all of that, all of you guys. And I will at the very least see you guys next Friday for the chocolate cake stream. If I don't post a video in between now and then, which I might, I might, I might not. I'll leave you guys hanging. So, <laughs> so remember, uh, if you guys just tuned in, uh, every Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do a live stream. So if YouTube doesn't notify you, I would suggest just putting a calendar thing, a thing in your calendar, 3 p.m. next Friday, Eastern Standard Time, live stream here, making chocolate cake from Nora Cooks, and I'm out. <laughs>